Hello, everybody, and welcome to Gene's Reviews. Reviews from a regular dude. Where I do trailer reactions, I react to YouTube videos, I review YouTube channels, occasionally I'll review a movie, but really, I just do whatever the hell I want. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Gene's Reviews. Reviews from a regular dude in my car. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I thought I'd just do a random video so you could learn a little bit about me and how I tick. And uh, I was going to talk a little bit about OCD because I have, I think I have OCD a little bit and uh, different things like that. Okay. Um, and also I want to talk a little bit about like organization and things like that because I hate sitting at home. I absolutely, I hate it. That's why you'll see me in these videos in my car a lot. Cause I, I just get too bored sitting at home all the time. Unless I'm kept busy doing something like maybe watching a movie or something like that. But even that, nowadays, I'll fall asleep if I'm trying to watch a movie at home. Unless it's a really good movie that keeps me, keeps me occupied, you know, gets me interested. But I'm going to talk a little bit about OCD. I have a accounting thing. I like I'll count my steps when I walk into the gym and stuff like that and I know exactly how many steps it takes me to get in from my car into the gym and how many steps it takes me to get back out to my car from the gym, stuff like that and I actually know where that all started. It started when I was loading trucks at a meat packing plant what they would do is they'd run a big long conveyor belt inside the trailer and uh the boxes of meat they'd have two guys in the back that were throwing them on rollers and they'd come out and then roll down onto the conveyor belt into the trailer and i was in the trailer by myself and i'd be stacking the boxes off of the conveyor belt well, about halfway through every load, the guy upstairs on the computer would stop the belt and he'd want a count of how many boxes were on the trailer so he could match it up with the computer. Well, the other guys in the other doors would always have to stop and climb up on there and count all the boxes and everything. Well, I kept a running count in my head. So I, kn I knew how many boxes were on there. I would count them as I threw them into the trailer it also helped me get a rhythm going so that i think is where it all started also um talk a little bit about like organization and stuff like that i'm really organized at home like when i get home i know where my wallet goes i know where my keys go i know where my phone goes they always go in the same exact place i never put them anywhere different that way I never lose them same with my glasses whatever I, I know where everything's at and I, I got that from my dad my dad was that way also but my mom and my sister my mom was totally opposite of that my sister is completely opposite of that I'll bet you almost daily I'm helping her look for her glasses or her wallet or her phone. I can't even count how many times I've had to call her phone so we could track it down. One time she actually lost her glasses and they were gone for like a week. At least a week. We finally found them in a box with all these cords in it. And what had happened was she took her glasses off and laid them in the box while she was looking for something. And then just forgot them. And then we tried tracking them, where was she at and everything. We couldn't find them. We just happened to come across them like a week later. Another time, this is kind of a funny story. This is back when I was in high school. My mom had been to the grocery store and she came home and was loading the refrigerator. And when she was done, she couldn't find her purse. So she thought she had lost her purse. She thought she'd left it at the grocery store or something. My dad was looking all over the house. We were all looking all over for it. We finally found it in the refrigerator. What had happened is when she got home, she was loading up the refrigerator, laid her purse down in there, closed the door and forgot. 
So there was a running joke after that. Every time my mom would like lose her purse, couldn't find her purse, my dad would always say, did you check the refrigerator? So there's stuff like that. And it's very, very rare that I'll forget my keys or my wallet or something like that. Every once in a while, I'll get out to my car and I forgot my wallet or my my keys or something like that. But or I really don't like sitting at home because it's it just it's boring to me. In fact, I go out and I drive. I drive my car a lot. That's another thing. I'm never late. For anything if anything I'm always about 10 or 15 minutes early I just hate to be late I hate cutting it right to the end you know if, like if I'm going to a movie or something or if I have an appointment somewhere I hate to be late I can't stand it I'm always just a little bit early it makes life a lot easier for me that way is that crazy I don't know I don't think it is also, when I go to the gym every day, if I don't have my phone with me to listen to podcasts, which that never happens, I always have it with me, I would go nuts. I have to have something to listen to while I'm at the gym. In fact, like I said, since I don't like sitting at home, I go to the gym twice a day now that I'm not working. I go in the morning, and then I go again at night, and I listen to podcasts the whole time that I'm working out. Some of the podcasts I listen to, just to give you guys, you know, if you like listening to podcasts, these are some really, there's some really good ones out there. I listen to a lot of movie review podcasts. Most of them are horror movies, but not all of them. And uh, there's a really good one that I like a lot. It's a horror movie podcast called Land of the Creeps. If you like horror movies, you like podcasts, I recommend Land of the Creeps. It's a very good podcast. Very good podcast. Also, there's another one that's really good called Scared to Death, where they tell creepy stories. And the guy who runs the podcast, his name is Dan Cummins. He's actually a stand-up comedian. Him and his wife, Lindsay, they, they do the podcast together. They also have a YouTube channel you can check out called Bad Magic Productions. And it has a lot of their podcasts on... Well, it has all of them on their YouTube channel, but they're done in video format. So you actually get to see them as they're reading the stories. And the stories that they do are all sent in by listeners. So they're, they're really cool, and they do a really good job at telling the stories. I also listen to one called Sword and Scale, which is more of a true crime podcast. But it can get it can get pretty disturbing, so... If you're real sensitive, I would stay away from that one. But I like it. I like listening to stuff like that. True crime and different things like that. Let's see, what else? That's pretty much it as far as the podcast. I list, Like I said, movie review podcasts. Sword and Scale. The Creepy Stories. I like that kind of stuff. And... Uh, I just thought I'd make this video to, you know, let you know a little bit about, more about me, what I'm like and everything. I'm a pretty easygoing guy. I don't really get too upset or anything anymore. I used to. I used to have a really bad temper. But not so much anymore. I guess it comes with age, huh? Well, anyways, that's today's video. Just thought I'd make a little short one telling you a little bit about myself if you have any um addictions or ocd or anything like that let me know down in the comments and now how about a joke for the 4783rd time i don't have ocd thank you everybody make sure you like comment subscribe hashtag mean gene all that fun stuff and if you like this video Tell all your friends, leave a comment down below. And if you didn't like it, then just shut up. And I will see you next time.